Hello and welcome to this edition of DECast. My name is Rob Bagby. I'm a developer of Angels for Microsoft Corporation and this is the first in a multi-part series of screencasts I'm doing illustrating the opportunities for PHP developers on the Microsoft platform. Now, I'm a huge believer that you should write, uh, write code in whatever language you feel comfortable with that solves your business problem. I further believe you should take advantage of any services or tools that help you solve that business problem. This screencast series is illustrating some of those tools that uh, are available to PHP developers on the Microsoft platform. Things like uh, Silverlight, which allows you to build rich internet or rich interactive applications. Windows Azure and the Azure Services platform, which allows you to build cloud-enabled applications and host in the cloud and take advantage of this massive scalability available to you so you can compete with virtually anybody, no matter the size of your shop. Uh, things like uh, hosting on IIS 7 under Fast CGI so you can safely and performantly host your PHP application while taking advantage of, of the vast array of modules to, that in, enhance your application's capabilities. One simple example of a module is the URL rewrite module which allows you to build uh, search engine friendly URIs or, 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 or just friendly URIs for your application. We'll illustrate that in the second screencast in this series. For now, in this screencast, I want to illustrate how you can very quickly uh, and in a friction-free manner install IIS 7, FastCGI, and PHP and get it running really in under three or four minutes. So with that, let's just get started. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring up something called the Web Platform Installer. I've already installed the Platform Installer, and in just a second, I'll show you where you can install it as well. The platform installer allows you to go through and choose varying uh, web platform components or full applications that you want to install and configure. So for instance, I want to install the ability to host static content in IIS. I want to install that URL rewrite module I, I talked to you about. You can see some of the others, the default document, directory browsing, uh, errors, uh, etc. I also want to install CGI, which includes fast CGI. And that's going to allow me to host my PHP application very safely and uh, as well as performantly. Now I also want to install PHP 5.2.1. Um, lastly, I want to show you that uh, we also allow you to install and configure an array of applications such as WordPress or Subtext or Acquia Drupal. You've also got uh, varying content management systems and uh, e-commerce systems. We're going to stick with these four components I wanted to install. I'm going to click install and choose I accept. Now you can see we've uh, got, let's check out the speed. We're installing at a relatively fast pace. So this whole install process should take really three minutes or, or less uh, if I can uh, maintain this kind of performance on my pipe. Now while this is downloading, you can see it's downloading varying components and then installing varying components. While this is going through, and oh, and by the way, the 16 versus the 4 that I had chosen, that's the beauty of the web platform installer. It's detected some, uh, some, of, the, uh, some of the dependencies, and it's, it's installing the dependent components upon the choices that I made. I don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, are there dependencies? What are those dependencies? It's going to take care of it for me. It's not just downloading everything. It's downloading and installing and configuring for me, which we're going to see in a second. While this continues along, I want to show you how you can get started and, uh, playing with this uh, just like I did. Uh, if you go out to www.microsoft.com, WAC Windows Server 2008, slash ENUS, that's for uh, if you're an English speaker in the United States, WAC Try it .aspx. So you can go down here and you can choose to evaluate this software. You can get it all installed and loaded on a, uh, on a box and, and play with it. Or you can do what I did, and you can go down here and download the virtual hard drive and just play with this in a virtual environment. So I've got VPC, virtual PC running, and, uh, and that's exactly what I did. I just downloaded the, the VHD. Now if you want to install the uh, web platform installer, just go out to Microsoft.com, WAC Web, WAC Downloads, WAC Platform.aspx, and install the uh, web platform installer 2.0 beta. You don't want to install the 1.0, you want to install the 2.0 beta. That gives you that great granularity where you can choose the varying components. And that's exactly what I did. Let's go see where we are in this download progress. You can see we've got everything downloaded. We've installed uh, 14 out of the 16 components. Uh, the other two components will take just another uh, few seconds. While that's going on, let me talk to you a little bit about Fast CGI. Now we've been able to host uh, uh, host PHP applications on IIS for some time now. Uh, 
what we did was we would spin up a new process every time a request came in and that uh, and, and that made sure that your application was uh, was safe uh, there are varying components or modules in PHP that are not thread safe and uh, and so by uh, by essentially spinning up a new process for each request we were able to make sure that uh, that your application was safe now the challenge was spinning up a new process is relatively uh, uh, expensive and so what FastCGI does was, uh, is it maintains a pool of these processes. So you don't have to pay the cost uh, for spinning up a whole new process. However, we still guarantee that each request runs inside of exactly one process. And so you get that safety, but you also get the, the performance that you, that you require. Now you can see our install is complete. We've got everything running. You could uh, go through a list of everything that was installed for you. We installed things like the HTTP errors module and logging so that you get uh, so you get that functionality. Um, you can also see I got my URL rewrite in PHP 5.2. And as I mentioned earlier, the kind of neat thing is that it's already uh, it's already configured for you. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to open up IIS. It's Internet Information Services. Let's go ahead and maximize it. I'm going to go down to my sites. And on my default website, I'm just going to go ahead and add a virtual directory and I'm just going to call this uh, test PHP and I'm going to, I'm going to just uh, navigate over to where I have a little sample application uh, stored called test PHP and let's go ahead and take a quick look now if I go down here to the content view you can see these are all the files that are available to me and inside of index PHP that's the canonical uh, PHP info and so we can just right click and choose to browse this and just prove to ourselves that PHP is in fact up and running on my uh, on my box and you can also see that we're running under fast CGI that's all it took uh, to get everything up and running in the next screencast I'm going to illustrate some of the uh, at least one of the modules that you can take advantage of in IIS which is the URL rewrite module which will allow us to really easily create a uh, search engine friendly URIs if you have any questions, you can contact me at uh, robbagby.com. Thank you very much for your attention.